Okay, B1 number 11, again, the directions perform the indicated operation. In this case, that indicated operation is addition. I'm going to add 4 and 2 thirds. So this one's a little different because I'm adding an integer 4 to a fraction 2 thirds. Okay, so in order to add these two together, what I want to write, what I want to do is use the methods we've been using to add two fractions. But that's not a fraction, right? But we can always make 4 a fraction. We can always make an integer a fraction by putting it over 1. Right, 4 over 1 is the same thing as 4. Alright, so I'm just going to do that real quickly. Make that a fraction. Alright, same problem. 4 over 1 plus 2 thirds, 4 plus 2 thirds, same thing. Okay, so once I do that, this one's probably really not that bad. Because the two denominators are 1 and 3. I need a common denominator. Well, the least, the smallest number that 1 and 3 will both go into is 3. Right? 1 will go into any number, 3 will go into itself. So I follow that same process. Okay. So I now have to figure out what goes here. Right? This is still going to be 2 because I didn't change that denominator. So 2 thirds is 2 thirds, same thing. All I need to do is figure out how I got from 1 to 3. Right? I multiply it by 3. So I have to do the same to the numerator times 3. And there we go. 4 over 1 is the same thing as 12 over 3. And now that I have it over the common denominator, I'm able to add them together. 12 and 2. When I say add them together, add the fractions together, we do that by leaving it over the least common denominator of 3 and adding the two numerators, right? 14 thirds. Check that to see if it reduces. It doesn't. Nothing will go into those two numbers. And I am done. Okay? So, do the rest of your homework. Remember, you have to do your homework to pass this class.